the owner of Silencer Shop, Dave Matheny, as well as president of JK Armament, very popular suppressor brand on Silencer Shop, Ron Martinez. Uh, we got both of you guys here. Perfect. Okay, so uh, Dave, this is something. How did you get an archaic government agencies to accept a digitalized, more functional version of their overly invasive process? You know, on the digital forms, and ATF just started doing the digital forms last year. And the funny, they actually started doing it back in 2013. And the demand for the system was so crazy that it actually crashed within probably seven or eight months of launching. Uh, we've been working with them ever since then, trying to push them to relaunch the system, which they just did again last year. Hmm. So it's, it's been a long road. Yeah, I mean, this is a, an agency that still uses fax machines. So, Ron, you're the president of a popular suppressor company, J.K. Armament. Uh, I met you at a SHOT Show again. It was great to see you. Um, why is there this huge push to increase the scrutiny, background checks, double up with suppressors, when all it does is make you not have to wear hearing protection? Well, absolutely, Carl. It's absolutely ridiculous uh, for them to go out and make it difficult for people. JK Armament, our goal is to have a great value product that is practical use for the everyday person. And thank goodness for Dave Matheny and Silencer Shop and their process with their kiosks within uh, stores makes it a lot easier for fingerprinting and for getting that process going more quickly. But it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all hmm. why the ATF is doing that. It's the hearing protection is very important. If you if, if a shot goes off accidentally for when you go out hunting or if you're if you're doing for sport, it's just it makes it more practical having a suppressor silencer. It's more efficient and and it's great for the hearing protection. Other people realize what it does, but making the process tedious and hard to get the product is is absolutely ridiculous by the ATF. Right. So, uh, Dave, this process, though, you, you can go into most gun stores in America, I, must, I guess. And I, like I've done it, I buy my suppressors through you guys to be you know, full disclosure. Uh, but you go in there, you do a kiosk and then you purchase them just like you would anything else. And the background check is digitalized rather than analog paperwork every single time. How is this impacting suppressor ownership in the United States? You know, it, 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 what what really kills the suppressor ownership is the wait time. So when you buy a suppressor, you have the exact same background check that you would buy it that you would get to buy a gun. Um, but when you buy a gun, that background check is essentially instant. You know, at most it's going to take you know three days. With a silencer, that same background check because it has to go through this NFA process can take currently about eight months. It's a uh, now we are expecting it to come down this year, but still we expected it to be down last year. It's uh, ATF was promising 90 days at the beginning of last year, and that never really materialized. The wait times are what killed this market. Right. Well, Ron, real quick, I got a minute left. Uh, you've seen an, a you've seen an, a huge uptick in your sales as the access to this. What do you say to Americans out there who are thinking about getting a suppressor or maybe don't know anything about it? Well, I would say do your research on that. I mean, go to uh, gun stores, ask them about suppressors. Silencer Shop has a great reviews online about uh, the practicality of suppressors. Um, it's it's very, it, the key is the hearing. It really is the hearing for the customers. It's practical, it makes it easy. The problem is the process. Hmm. And the key is to have that process go down from ATF. There's no reason at all why it takes so long to, to get a suppressor versus what Dave was just saying mm -hmm. when you purchase a gun. Go through the same background checks. Yeah. And uh, luckily, silencer shops help that in regards to the kiosk, but Americans need to reach out and say, this is absolutely ridiculous. It makes no sense. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. I have some number of suppressors and they say, oh, yeah, 90 days at like nine months. I'm like, hey, guys, they're like, well, we anticipate 90 days. I'm like, yeah, you're three times that now. But Dave Matheny, Ron Martinez, we appreciate you being here. Great. Thank, Thank you. you.